The viewfinder is one of the most important components of any camera. When you can't see your subject, you won't get the shot. This is why this video is all about the intricacies of the OM system, OM1's electronic viewfinder and live view system. Let's explore how to set it up to get the job done even under the most challenging circumstances. My name is Thomas Eisel. I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria. The OM system OM1 has a very capable viewfinder. 5.76 million dots resolution, a display lag of only 0.5 milliseconds and 120 frames per second maximum display refresh rate. That's all very impressive. Nonetheless, no matter how high-end, electronic viewfinders can struggle when working in low light or high dynamic range situations. Thankfully, the OM1 has some tricks up its sleeve. By default, the OM1 is in standard live view mode. In this mode, the OM1 simulates the final photograph. The viewfinder image therefore depicts the exposure settings, meaning the tonal values of the final image, as well as the white balance setting and the selected picture mode or art filter. Under normal circumstances, this mode provides a very pleasant viewing experience. Thanks to the accurate preview of the tonal values, the visual representation in the viewfinder can be used to set the exposure instead of relying only on an exposure meter reading. SOVF stands for Simulated Optical Viewfinder. In this mode, the OM system OM1 does not provide a preview of exposure settings, white balance, picture modes or art filters. Instead, SOVF provides a viewing experience similar to an optical viewfinder. It is very stable even under the most challenging circumstances. So every time standard mode struggles, for example in high dynamic range scenes, switching to SOVF solves the issue, as the OM1 is not bogged down by providing an accurate preview of the final image. Also, when working in the studio with strobes, SOVF is crucial, because when you would use the OM1 in standard mode, you would get a very dark live view image, as of course only the available light in the studio would be taken into account to provide a preview. And the studio strobes, which fire only in the moment the picture is taken, would of course be left out. All in all, SOVF is an absolutely crucial function of the OM1, and I highly recommend mapping it to a button. Night vision does not simulate tonal values, white balance, picture mode and art filters, but instead optimizes contrast, colors and brightness of the live view for ultra low light situations. It basically allows the photographer to see in the dark. Depending on how much light is available, the OM1 might reduce the viewfinder frame rate in order to provide this refined viewing experience. Night vision is therefore best suited for composing scenes with little to no movement. For tracking moving subjects in low light situations, I highly recommend using SOVF instead. The OM system OM1 offers two different display refresh rates, normal and high, for standard live view mode. When set to high, the OM1 refreshes the viewfinder image with up to 120 frames per second. It is noteworthy though that the higher sensor readout rate produces significantly more heat. And when the heat level exceeds a certain threshold, the OM1 will automatically return to normal refresh rate. Even before that happens, the camera temperature 
will rise and higher internal camera temperature almost always leads to more image noise. I therefore recommend leaving the refresh rate to normal unless a very fast moving subject requires the 120 frames per second. When a scene is illuminated by flickering light sources like LED lights, this usually results in a flickering live view image. With anti-flicker live view set to auto 50Hz or 60Hz, this issue can usually be resolved. However, it is important to keep in mind that this does not change the shutter timing like anti-flicker shooting would. So you are just obfuscating the problem. I therefore recommend leaving anti-flicker live view to off instead so you are able to detect issues with light sources and you can take appropriate countermeasures. The simulation of some art filters can cause a jerky image preview under some circumstances. When art filter live view is set to mode 2 instead of mode 1, the OM1 prioritizes maintaining a high display refresh rate as long as the shutter button is halfway pressed, instead of providing an accurate art filter preview all the time. I myself, however, rarely change this setting to mode 2 as I just use SOVF whenever I run into any frame rate issues with the OM1. Even industry leading live view systems like the one in the OM system. OM1 can struggle in certain extreme scenarios. For these situations, SOVF always proved to be a lifesaver. Always keep this function mapped to a button so you can turn it on whenever needed. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing and following me on other social media. See you next time.